Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Thanks so much for joining me today. I want to do something a little different. We're going to do the paper pumpkin and I'm doing it exactly as it comes. I think these are so cute. I know people do alternatives and um, there there's some great ideas out there, but I really like these. So this is the October Ho 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 paper pumpkin. I think it's so cute. I love the boxes that they're special. Usually they're orange for pumpkin. And it does have a little note in here. These little bags are available. Uh, they, I guess they're gonna coordinate with the From the North uh, Pole paper pumpkin. So this would be the November. Um, and you have to subscribe for this before the 10th of the month. So for November, you've already missed October, but if you have it, it's uh, nice to see what's out there. And in November, you have to uh, subscribe and you can do a one month. You can go do a monthly where they bill you every month. You can prepay for a subscription. You can buy, you know, one month or three months or six months. And if you buy a lot of months, you can earn um, Stampin' Up! rewards and get some free product. So um, this, I think this little bag is going to be really cute. And then let's get into the box. So we have a stamp set. And I think it's really cute. Merry ho, ho, ho. I love that reindeer. Full thing of dimensionals. Usually you get a little, little piece of smaller ones. We've got some little pearls. And early espresso ink spot. And then I like to kind of sort out my pieces. So um, these are the cutouts. And I think they're really cool. And there's two sizes. And I'm just seeing this the first time. I did open the box, but um, I didn't look through everything. We have some card bases. And I think this is really pretty. And I like to just, you know, take everything out, take a look at it. These are pretty. And then we have some vellum. Ho, ho, ho's. We must be putting something in front of them. And then these are some label pieces. And you get everything in your kit. Uh, the first time you get it, you get a, a block. Um, and then you can use that over and over again. You always get an ink pad, sometimes two. And you get your stamp set and then adhesives. The only thing you really need is maybe scissors. And if you wanted to use your own adhesive. So these are some more card bases. So we're getting three of each card base. Is it three or four? One, two, three. So you get three cord bases of um, three different cards. So I guess we're making nine cards. And then you have these are your punch outs. And again, I haven't really looked through this. How cute. Look at that little Santa. These are glue dots. I usually use my own, but we'll use them. The ho, 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 and the merry. And aren't these pretty? These are kind of an iridescent, shiny stars and then i love the envelopes so the envelopes you get to coordinate with each of the card bases so this is one set and it has the striped inside and then this is very pretty oh isn't that nice you don't want to even lick that and close it <laughs> and then this so pretty and then at the very back and you usually get it with um there's usually a cardboard piece in here. Oh, it's right here. Usually this comes like this, and a lot of people don't even know it. So this is the directions. And let's get rid of this. So these are the cards we're going to make. Three of each. So cute. I think these are going to be great for kids. Uh, ho, 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 paper pumpkin kit. And then it has instructions for card number one. These are the supplies for each of the cards, one, two, and three, if you want to break them up that way. And then the instructions. And these are your dimensionals, and then those are your glue dots. So that's the difference. There's usually a ruler on the side that helps you uh, if you're measuring like ribbon or twine or something like that. They're, I call them Ikea directions because I think sometimes, you know, just reading the picture is hard, but we'll do it. And let's first get our pieces for this card. So I think that's really pretty. 
So this is, let me get these away. We'll put the envelopes on the side and we'll get the pieces for this. So this is the first card and we'll just make one of each. I won't make them all. So we wanna get, this is the card base and then we want to get this bigger of these pieces. I think these are pretty. I love the one with the stitched. So we'll do this and it looks pretty easy. We're just gonna put this on with dimensionals. So first we're gonna stamp actually the Merry Christmas and the Santa Claus. So let's get those stamps mounted. I'm going to use my own blocks, but again, you would get one block. And I just wanna show you in some of them, the block is square, so it's going across this way. Same thing with this. Now I have long skinny blocks that I'll probably use, but that's just to help you. Um, so we're going to get the Santa Claus and just mount him up right on here. And these are nice because they're photopolymer. And let's just fold this back so we can follow along. And then we want to get the Christmas. And some of these solid stamps, this has a lot of solid to the back. You really want to ink it up good and maybe um, test it out. So I'm going to put this on one of these blocks. And let me get a piece of scrap. So this way, when we ink this up, I want to just really ink it up good. So it looks like we are going to stamp right on the Santa Claus. So you'll see that there's the Santa Claus and he has the, the little face, the eyes and the cheeks, but there's no real outline. I think I have two here. So this will be done for two different cards. So we'll just pop it out. And then we need one of these little pieces. And I think it must be, let's see what it says. Again, we're doing this together. So we need this. This piece, well, there's two of them here, so let's just separate these. So we need this piece. And I'm trying to figure out which piece of the small one we need. One has a little line on it. So that's for this one. I don't know if you can see the difference, but this has like a little blue line. That's for this one. So I think it's this little one that we use. And I'm just gonna kind of put my stamp over it and make sure that it will fit. Oh yeah, it fits. Okay. All right, so let's get to stamping. I'm gonna just open this up. I actually like to open it up with my scissors, my snips, and just go along here. And I keep it attached. You don't have to. Um, I just think it closes nicer. So let's get this inked up, our Santa Claus. And if you have early espresso ink, you can just use your big ink pad. I'm just showing you that it has everything you need if you don't have the ink pads. So sometimes the first, first swipe, you just wanna make sure it's inked up good. There we go, cute. He's a happy Santa. So let's do this. Okay, and now we want to hover right over this Santa Claus. And again, it's photopolymer, so it really is easy to see. And I'm going to move away from here because it's white on white, and I think this might help me see better. But I'm right over him. Just press it down. And there you go. Cute little Santa Claus. And now we want to get our sentiment. And this one I'm going to definitely do a couple of times. 
because as I said, it's a very um, solid kind of stamp. So let's just, that look pretty good. I'm gonna do it one more time as a tester. Okay, and now we're gonna go down for real. I love early espresso. It's such a nice brown. I like kind of nature, natural colors, neutral colors, I guess I should say. I'll just press this down. And there we go. I think I want to do it on the other side. So the nice thing is that you can turn it over and do it on the other side. It seems like it could get a little darker for me. I'm sorry if I'm shaking too much. Okay, let's try this again. Go right over it. Press it down. Okay, that's better. So we'll put those aside and put the ink aside. Okay, so let's go back to our directions. And now we want to um, put some dimensionals on this. And let's just fold our card and burnish it. I don't have my bone folder here, so we'll just use the fingertip. And we're going to use the dimensionals. I love that they give you a whole thing. So when you buy dimensionals, this is what you get. You get, I think, three sheets of them when you buy a package of them. So you, you want to make sure they don't show through the other side. So let's just... Take this up and make sure that we have it flat on this side if it's going to be close to the edge. And that's just the backing. Okay. And we'll just put these all down. So you see it's like um, it's got the flat sides. So just make sure that the flat side, if you're going up against the edge, <clears throat> is against the edge and that it doesn't show through. These are a little bit big. Let's see. I'm gonna just pull it up. Okay. And then we'll put one up here, one in the middle. really right there and you can snip these down if you wanted to I think I would do that because it seems like it's very a very tight fit here okay so then we want to take the backs off and this is like a two-sided uh, dimension dimensional sticky on both sides And you just want to lay this down centered. So it just gives it a little bit of height so you can see through this. It's like a shadow. It's nice. Okay, and then we want to take one of these pretty stars or snowflakes. And it looks like it's the bigger one. And we're going to put that down with a glue dot. So we'll just pull this out. And I'll just take one of these glue dots. And if you have your own adhesive, you can use your own glue dots, or you can use liquid glue if you wanted to. I'm just gonna put that down and take the back off. And that's gonna kinda go up here. Okay, 
And then we want to get our Santa Claus. And he's going to go here with dimensionals. So we have the dimensionals there. So I'll take a couple of those. Put them on Santa. So it, it gives you like step-by-step -step pictures, which is nice. So we'll put him down here. And then we have this with dimensionals. And it looks like they're along the bottom so that he's going over Santa. Now Santa's lifted up, so you wanna put them just on the bottom. If you put them at the top, you're going to interfere with um, Santa's beard that's also lifted up because we use dimensionals there. I hope that makes sense. And that's you know what you do when you have a card that you're putting dimensionals uh, next to or over something that already has dimensionals down. You don't want the dimensionals to lift it up any higher than it already is. Okay. And then we want to take the Merry. So let's find the Merry. And that we're putting down with glue dots. So I just take this all out. And I think I'll use my take your pick tool for this. We'll just put them kind of on each letter, maybe where it's um, it's a little thicker. And then these you just take off the back. So we're going to put this right across this. Very pretty. I like, I don't know if you can see it, that it's a lighter red and then a darker red kind of outlining it. Merry. And then our Christmas. And we're putting dimensionals on this as well. So I'm going to put the flat part on the top and the bottom. And we'll have the one card done. Pretty cool. I think it's cute. What do you think? Merry Christmas. Let's put it in a little bit. I guess it goes over the R. I'm just looking at how it goes. It's kind of going over some of those letters. Okay, so there's one more thing. I, I made a mistake in the beginning. <laughs> this is it, this is not the glue dot. This is actually one of these little pearls. So the glue dots are over here. They look the same to me, the little dots. So these are dimensionals, these are glue dots, and these in the middle are these little uh, pearls. So I'm going to just open this up and we'll put one right in the center of this snowflake. So I'm going to just use my take your pick tool, the putty end, pick it up and put it right here so it adds a little bit of sparkle to it. So let's do an inside to the card. So I have just some inside layers that we can use and you can stamp right on this, but if you have some white cardstock, it gives it a little bit more um, weight to it, so it's it's not as thin because you've got all this on the front. And if you make a mistake, <laughs> you can fix it. So I'm going to use the uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and I'll do it in this ink. If you have a different color ink, you can do that as well. And I just like to test it out before I do it. And I'm just wondering if I should do this um, Santa Claus across the top. I think I'm going to do this with the reindeer because I think it's cute. And we're going to use this on another card. <clears throat> should I put it back here or up here? I'm going to put it right there like that. Okay. And then let's get the envelope. So the envelope for this card, um, let me just get it here. 
it's this kind of uh, the craft kind of cardstock look. Is this the right one? Let me just make sure. <laughs> yep, this one. It doesn't show the front, but this kind of goes with this, right? Cute. So I'm going to leave that the way it is, and maybe I'll just do on the flap, I'm going to do this Santa Claus with the reindeer again. It's nice to do your envelopes, even though these are already decorated. This way, when it's folded, you've got that cute. So let me just put this on the inside of the card and then we'll move on to the second card. And I'm just gonna use my stamp and seal. You can use those little glue dots if you want or liquid glue or whatever adhesive you have. This is what I like to use on the insides of my cards. Got a little on my finger there. Okay, so this is our first card. I think it's really cute. And let's move on to the second. And that's what I meant, you know, these this kit is really very cute. So I did buy the three months, so I did last month for Halloween, this month, and I think next month is some kind of uh, Christmas as well. So this one we need, um, this is the envelope for it. Let's just get the pieces out. This is the envelope, which I love, and I hate that this is going to be folded down, but they should have put that on the outside, right? So we need this piece, and we need the stamp that we just used with the ink, and also the Santa Claus is coming to town. And that's going to go on one of these that has this little kind of, I think it's pool party, or maybe it's a light Bermuda Bay. And I think it tells you the colors. Does it tell you the colors on this? Uh, yes, yeah, so it's Bermuda Bay, Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Shaded Spruce, Sweet Sorbet, and Very Vanilla. So if you needed to, um, you know, if you had some of those colors and wanted to coordinate it, that would be a nice thing to do. So let's get our Early Espresso. So I did switch to my bigger ink pad. I think it's just easier since I have it. And we're going to ink this up. And let's get it off of here. We don't want to get any ink on that. And it looks like he's just going across the sky with the stars. And I think that's just really pretty. Cute. And then we'll get the Santa Claus is coming to town. Get all our stamping done. And I might do the same thing on the inside of this card. I'll have to see what other stamps there are. Okay, let's put this away. And let's see what this piece is. It looks like we have um, kind of a, a rectangle here. Let me find those pieces. So that's this. Oop. So it looks like it's a frame. So I'll take this center out. Trying to see how this is going to work. So we've got the frame. And we're just going to put these on here and the frame around it. And then it looks like we have 
this striped piece down across the bottom. So this is kind of the shorter of the striped pieces. So that's going to go under like this. So I think we're going to put this down with dimensionals. I'm trying to understand this. So we're going to put dimensionals on this one. And we're going to put glue dots on this one. So we'll get everything all set up to go. And then we'll put, looks like, glue dots on this as well. Okay. So we have those pieces done, and then we're going to create this. So I think what we do is we put this on the card base, and then we'll attach those other pieces on top of it. So we'll put this right here. Okay. And then I'm just going to take the backs off of this. And this will go right over. Okay, and then we'll take the backs off of this. It's a little crooked. I think it's okay. And I guess this must go underneath it a little bit. Looks like to me the frame is above it. So we're just going to pull this up and put this down like this. And put the frame over it. Okay. <laughs> we are getting this done. It's a little different than I thought. And now we're going to get one of these snowflakes. And I think it must be one of the smaller ones. So I'll take this out. And these are really so pretty. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they're these iridescent looking snowflakes. So we're just gonna pull that out and put that down, I guess, with a glue dot right there. So let's get a glue dot for that. Then we've got to do the ho, ho, ho. Right here. I guess we'll go in a little bit. All right, and now we want to get the ho, ho, ho. So we'll take this ho, ho, ho out. And then this one has that vellum backing to it. Okay, and then we have the vellum backing. And the vellum, our vellum cardstock is pretty, pretty strong. It's nice. So let's have, see how this is going to look before we put it down. It just gives it that little bit of a shadow. Pretty cool. So we want to get some glue dots on this one. So it looks like they put it up at the top of things. I'm following what they're doing. I 
They put it on all the O's. I'm not sure if there's a reason for that. And then this is going to go right on top of this um, vellum piece. So we'll put this over the vellum piece. And again, let me get this out of the way. It's easier to see some things on dark and some things on light. There we go. This way we can line it up nicely. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. And then we can put our pieces again on the, the O's, it looks like. The tops of the O's for whatever reason. I'm sure there is a reason. Okay, so now it looks like we can put this down right over the snowflake. Ho, ho, ho. And then we want to put this Santa Claus is coming to town. And that goes on with dimensionals. I'm looking over here. So we just put two dimensionals on this one. That's cute. I'm really loving these. Great for kids. So we're gonna put this right, right here. Santa Claus is coming to town, and let's also put one of these little, I'm going to do the smaller one, I think, let's see. I'm just trying to see if they differentiate between the sizes of the, the pearls. I'm thinking the smaller, the smaller ones get the smaller pearls, but maybe not seems like it should get a big one. Oh, we'll do a little one. It really is a little. Okay, so let's look at the envelope for this one, and let's do an inside. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. And I have another piece of basic white. And I may do the same thing, but I don't want to put Santa Claus is coming to town. So let's see what other um, sentiments. Tis the season to be jolly. Let's do that one. And I'm just going to put it on this one. I would put another Santa on uh, with a stamp because there is a Santa stamp, but I'm thinking that um, I, I'd have to color it in and I don't want to do that for this, this card. So you could use some of these other pieces. You could put the, like the Santa in here. I see that they have a, um, a snowflake and I think I might do the snowflake with another color so I got my Bermuda Bay out and I think I'm just going to do a snowflake up top on the Bermuda Bay and I want to make it a little bit lighter so I'm going to get my scrap out and so I'm doing some extra here give you ideas but you don't have to do this I like to see how light I can get it. We'll do it twice, one, one stamp off. Okay, and then I think on this, I'm gonna do that same Santa Claus with the deer. I think that's a nice one for the back of an envelope and it really coordinates with this. So let's just do this one. And this is the early espresso. And you can put something on the front if you want. You could put some snowflakes or something like that. So let's do this. And then we'll put this inside. I 
Okay, so I think this is really fun as well. So two cards down, let's do the third one. And the third one, I think I like this little thing that they have here, this little piece. So let me get those pieces out. Okay, so this one goes with this card base. And then we have this piece. We're going to punch out the Joy, the Santa. This is the longer strip. And then there's a green strip for the sentiment. And then some stars. So let's get started with our stamping. Let's get one of the Santas out. Okay, and let's stamp him down. I'm going to just do it over here where I can see better. So I don't have the white on white. And it really is a tight one to see where to stamp it. He's down a little bit, but I think that's okay. And then we want to stamp on this green. The sentiment. And this is the sentiment we just used on the inside of that other card. And I just got ink on my, my finger. <laughs> All right, so let's get this long sentiment and ink it up. Tis the season to be jolly. And I'm gonna just try to center it on either end. Okay, and let's put this away. So we have our stamping done. And now we want to do some uh, dimensionals again on this. Hopefully there's more room on this one. So we'll put one in the middle. Yeah, this is a little bit better. The other one was a little tight and I see that they cut the dimensional here and that's probably what I should have done on that other one, that first card, because I feel like it was a little tight. Okay, and then we're gonna put this right down on here. So you're gonna see this through, but you have the red on top. I think that's really a neat look. So I'm gonna just go right along here, make sure I'm straight. Okay, and then we wanna put some snowflakes down so one big one and then two smaller ones. There's actually three different sizes here. There's the very small ones. I think I'm gonna do this one and then the two smaller ones. So we'll do this one here and then these two. I think these are the sizes. One, two. Okay, so we'll put one up here, the one over here, and the one here. So let's get the glue dots out for this. I'm just trying to see. So we'll get a glue dot on this one. just put right down here. And I don't think they have to be in any exact place here. So now we want to take our, this is the longer striped piece. In the last card we used that shorter stripe, so this is a longer one. And then we want to attach this on top of it. And I'm just going to do this <laughs> just to make it easier. So I'm going to put this right up here on top of it. It looks like it goes end to end. And 
then we'll put this on. So if you, uh, if you like using those glue dots, you go for it. If you have other glue, you could use liquid glue, whatever you want to use. I'm going to put this right here. So it goes a little bit above and it goes over these two snowflakes. Tis the season to be jolly. And then we have our Santa and we want our J-O-Y. We're going to pop all of these up on uh, with dimensionals. And as I said, the Y, they cut that dimensional right in half to make it easier to fit. And these dimensionals are very easy to cut up. So if you need to cut them up, go for it. So we need Santa Claus with a couple of dimensionals. We'll put one on the J right up here. Oh, we don't need the O because he's the O. I'm saying, where's the O? <laughs> so let's put this right like this. So it's flat and flat on either side. And then we're gonna just cut this right in half. And put one up here on this part of the Y and one on here. I wonder what the O is for. Maybe they just made it. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to start with Santa in the middle. And this way we can balance it all out. So we don't want to cover the sentiment. And then we'll do the J. So cute. And the Y. I just kind of make sure that they're kind of even. And let's put our pearls in. So I'm going to do the big one and the bigger snowflake. And then we'll do the little tiny ones. They just are right there on the edge there. That one has a mind of its own. Okay. I think that's really sweet. So let's decorate this one. This is the one with the stripes. So again, I think I'm going to do the same because I think this is a great stamp for the envelopes because it just kind of goes across. So we'll do this. And I'm wondering if I want to do the Santa. I want to see how the Santa looks on its own. Yeah, why not? So let's do that on the inside. So the inside layer is going to go this way. And we're going to put them right here. And we're going to put Santa Claus is coming to town. And you could put the Santa on the front of the envelope too, but I like that little stripe. I think I'm gonna just leave it with that. So these are the three cards. I guess I should have watched the videos <laughs> before I made them because I was really just going with the directions and I wasn't sure on uh, a little bit of it, but I think they're cute and fun. And I think they're gonna be good for my grandkids. Let's just put this like this. Get it all nice and square and even. 
And then this one goes with this envelope. So let's get rid of some of this stuff and look at the three cards. So we have this card, we have this card, and we have this card. So again, you get uh, kits to make uh, three of each of these cards. And then I'm sure there'll be tons of stuff out there with alternatives, but I just thought they were cute on their own. So thanks for joining and come back next week for another video. Take care.